Hi guys, welcome back. Hope everyone's doing well. Today's a bit of a different video. As you can see, I'm just talking directly to you guys. There's going to be no Ableton today. However, I don't think this is any less important. Again, as always, I want to talk about something which I wish I knew a lot earlier because it would have really excelled my career and it would have made me get to where I am today quicker, which uh, obviously everyone wants. And what it is we're talking about is track feedback, as you can probably tell by the title. Now, I really, really focus and drill home to people about track feedback, and I really try and make sure that it's an integral part of people's career, really, or, or, or their life as a music producer. If we go back a few years, I didn't show anyone my music until around 2018. Now, I had been making music for five Five years before that and I just used to leave it sat there on my laptop because I never thought it was good enough now I wish I had sent it off for track feedback and when I say send it off I'm talking about send it to a person that is not your friend or family I'll come on to why in a second but I wish I'd gone and got track feedback because I feel that if you receive track feedback off the right person and you put into practice the changes that they suggest it can really excel your career forward and it can really make you progress quicker when when I say about family and friends, the reason I'm saying not your family and friends because it doesn't matter who they are, they are all liars. If they're close to you, they are all liars. Now, they're not malicious liars and I'm not just ripping your family and friends here. I'm talking about anyone's in the world because if you think about it, your family and your friends have your best interest at heart. Now, I've seen it time and time again. Every single time you send a track to your friends, they are never ever gonna just rip you. They know that you're putting your heart and soul into making music. They know you wanna make it as a successful music producer. So they're never just gonna turn around and go, no, that's diabolical. Like, I think you could definitely do better than that. They will say something like, oh, sick that bro. Or sounding good that bro. That that's what you're gonna get back from your friends and family or, or that's what I've seen people get back from their friends and the family. You may have one friend that is just brutally honest all the time with you and if they are, great, send music to them. But I would hold off sending any work in progresses to my friends and family. What I would do is search for people that you don't know and keep them at arm's length network with them on Instagram, Facebook, just, just get to know them a little bit, but don't become best friends with them. And then make an agreement between each other, oh, let's send each other music and let's give each other brutally honest feedback because I absolutely promise you, if you find a person like that, it can really help you drive your career forward. And if you trust their opinion, and a lot of the time it's better to find someone that's slightly better at making music than you, so you know that the advice that they're giving you is, is good advice, and also though on the counter argument to that there are also people that I send music to that aren't even music producers and the reason for that is because every person that is into music listens to music all day every day now we talk about a trained ear or you hear me talk about a trained ear in the videos I think most people that are really into music have a trained ear because you can sense if something's out of key or not but when you're inside a project sometimes you can't pick up on something slightly out of key because you've listened to it that many times so I have a group of people there that aren't even music producers but I will send them music because they listen to that much minimal and tech house that they are able to give good feedback because they know what a good track is and a bad track not only do we want someone there that is better at making music than us have a group of people there as well that are just regular listeners of music that can guide you and just say oh I'm not sure on that bit or I'm not sure on that bit a main part of my business inside the community is ensuring that the community members give honest and thorough feedback. I've even now incorporated a point system where people win big prizes for giving the most amount of decent feedback within the month. And the reason for that is, is just because I think it is so, so important on our careers. I'll drop a little clip in here of the, me scrolling through the track feedback. As you can see here, if I scroll through, you can see the track feedback here is 
thorough. You can see there's lots of it. We're not talking about just tiny little one word or one sentence answers. We're talking about time taken to give thorough feedback. And that is why I've done that inside the community. I'm not trying to shamelessly plug it, but if you are struggling to find these people to give you honest feedback, maybe check out the link in the description to the community where you can get 300 people giving you chat feedback. I know it's a bit of a different video today. Just wanted to give my two pence on it really and just label this real important part of what I think is making music. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop me a comment. I, I will do more videos like this. I'm happy to do so. Or if you have a topic that you'd like me to just openly talk about like this, I'm always available to do so. So just uh, drop me a comment below and I will get around to making it. Thanks again for watching. Catch you all soon.